Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at some shortcuts for finding Maclaurin series, but instead of calculating derivatives, we're going to make use of some existing Maclaurin series and go through some algebraic replacements. So let's start with our first function, e to the negative x squared, and we're going to notice that looks very similar to this basic exponential function, e to the x. Now I'm going to rewrite this first to make it look a little bit more obvious what we're doing. So I'll rewrite this as e raised to something. It's Maclaurin series is a sum from n equals zero to infinity of one over n factorial and then times something raised to the nth power. And all we need to do is notice we have e to the negative x squared and we'll just make an algebraic replacement there we'll plug into those parentheses, negative x squared. So we'll get the sum from n equals zero to infinity of one over n factorial, but now negative x squared all to the nth power. And we can simplify that. We're gonna think of the inside as being negative one times x squared, and we'll take the nth power of each of them. So we can rewrite this as the sum going from n equals zero to infinity of now, we'll put the negative one to the n in the numerator. We're gonna still have in the denominator n factorial, but now with your exponents there multiplying, you'll get x to the two n power. And that is our Maclaurin series for e to the negative x squared. No derivatives were calculated. We just made an algebraic replacement in an existing Maclaurin series. Now the second function, x times sine of 2x is very similar. And we're gonna take as our starting place the Maclaurin series for sine of x and make a replacement. We'll replace the x here with 2x. Now we do need to be careful with the factor of x out front but we'll deal with that separately. So let's start with our Maclaurin series, sine of something, that equals the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative one to the nth power divided by two n plus one factorial, but now instead of x, we're gonna have something raised to the two n plus one power. All right, and we just need to make a replacement inside there. The inside the parentheses, we're gonna replace it with two x. Now to start, I'm gonna keep this x out front factored out, and we'll replace sine of two x with its Maclaurin series. So the sum from n equals zero to infinity negative one to the n divided by two n plus one factorial. And then inside there, we're gonna replace it with two x. So we get two x all raised to the two n plus one power. Now here, we're gonna again apply exponent rules. We're gonna multiply your powers there. So we'll get two to that power times x to that power. But we also have this power of x out front. Now, when you multiply there, you'll get x to the two n plus one. And this power of x out front, I can multiply it inside here to the other power of x. And just think from basic exponent rules, when you multiply powers of x, you can add their exponents. That's x to the one. So we can rewrite this all as x to the two n plus two power. So we can rewrite this whole Maclaurin series in a much simpler form. Bring your power of x in, multiply, add the exponents, and we can write this as the sum going from n equals zero to infinity of negative one to the n. Be careful, you have two, which we're gonna raise to the two n plus one power. We have two n plus one factorial in the denominator. 
And now we have x raised to the 2n plus 2 power. And that is our McLaurin series for x times sine of 2x. Well, our last example here, we pretty much have gone through everything above, all the little tips and tricks. So it should be pretty simple here. We're going to start with our McLaurin series for cosine of x and make a replacement. So let me rewrite this as cosine of something. That's the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the nth power divided by 2n factorial. And then we'll have something raised to the 2n power. All right, and we just need to make a replacement here. Replace your inside with pi times x to the fourth. So we'll get our sum going from n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the nth power divided by 2n factorial. And now inside your parentheses there, we're going to make the replacement with pi times x to the fourth. And all that is raised to the 2n power. Like the previous problems above, we're just going to apply properties of exponents and take the 2n power of both pi and x to the fourth. So we'll be able to rewrite this as the sum going from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times pi to the 2n power divided by 2n factorial. And just be careful to multiply 2n times 4. That will give x to the 8n power. And there is our McLaurin series for cosine of pi x to the fourth. All these problems were very straightforward by making algebraic replacements in existing McLaurin series for basic functions. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're learning a lot. If you are, support the channel, like and subscribe.